What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the JR Experience. Just want to give you my thoughts on a couple of subjects, a couple of topics that I want to jump on. You know, I want to talk about this uh, Cheerios commercial. You know, everybody been talking about. I've been waiting to give my thoughts. I'm going to jump in and give you my opinion about the commercial. And also, I want to talk about this brother down there in Tennessee, 22 kids, 22 children, and 14 baby mamas. I'm going to say that one more time. 22 kids, 14 baby mamas. Think about it. Let that sink in. He don't take care of them. All right. We're gonna get we're gonna get into that ghetto foolishness in a hot minute. But let's jump into this Cheerios commercial. There, everybody's had an uproar about, and where Cheerios had to disable the comments, had to get them out the way because uh, people are leaving so much hate in the comment section. They had to just get rid of it. Just wouldn't even allow people to leave comments no more. Just got over the top and got insane. And that's terrible. That is really terrible. That's what society is today. We still got that much hatred and, and racism out in the world? I guess so. Well, we all know just because we have a black president that has no meaning that hey, racism is gone. Hell no. There are white people across the world who cannot stand to see a black man. Okay, let's get that clear. Let's get that clear. There are white folks across the world who would, cannot stand to see a black woman. Okay? Not just stop. Don't stop at white people. Mexican uh, black folks that don't like black folks, <laughs> okay, light skin, dark skin, uh, uh, Mexican versus black, uh, um, and, and the list goes on. There's a lot of hate all around, and which, but the only thing is, uh, it's just not talked about. It's just not talked about um, out in the public no more. But at the same time, uh, when people go home, we don't know what the hell they say. When people go home, we don't know what the hell they say about us. You know what? They might look at me and say, ain't no way <laughs> they see me in my face, shake my hand, everything. JR, you so rich, oh, is a cool dude. Oh, thanks, man. You a cool dude. They go home, man, that nigga ain't shit. You know, I'm like, what? <laughs> You'd be surprised you re recorded some people's uh, um, uh, dinner uh, dinner time conversations at the table, little dinner table. Let them see what they really talk about, how they really feel when they're uncensored. Uncensored. Especially give them a glass of Hennessy or some uh, whiskey. Oh, yeah, give them something straight, no chaser, and let them start talking. And then, how do you really feel about interracial relationships? Oh, they'll spill everything. They'll say what they really feel that they weren't known when they were recorded. Now, it was a cute commercial. It was a cute commercial. It was a nice commercial. Black, uh, the black dad, white wife. So what? Black man wasn't kissing on the white woman. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, and even if he was, would it be a big deal? Like, it wasn't nothing. Little cute girl going to her mama, asking about Cheerios, going to her daddy. It was it was a quick commercial. It was just a nice commercial, but because it was a white woman and a black man, oh hell no! What were people looking at the commercial like? White folks that don't like black people were they just looking at the commercial? And it was like, uh oh, it better not be a black man in that other room. Gosh, Nikes, it's a black man. Oh shit, hot dog, Jiminy Christmas. Were they that pissed off? And they just started start typing. <laughs> like, uh, what, what, people just like waiting at the keys, like, I better not see a black, oh, it's a little mix, baby, I better not see a black man, <laughs> they, they, they all play that, da, 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 start typing away, my gosh, get over it, it's 2013, in 2013, what, you don't go outside your damn house, people that, that what, you've never seen a black man with a white woman before, you've never seen Jungle Fever, you've never been to your local whatever, like, come on, everybody's dating everybody nowadays get over it let it go let it go we want to go back to Jim Crow laws or you want to have your bathroom we have our bathroom come come on people really really come on look I guess we just know that just lets us further know damn Obama being in office we always gonna let you know when you're black <laughs> America will let you know they'll let you know I hate to say it, but it's true but Black folks been black men been dating white men white black black men been dating white women for years, for years, and, and, and so what? So what is happening? It's happening. White women are dating black men. White men are dating black women. Um, white women are dating Latinos, uh, Indians. Black people are dating Puerto Ricans. It's 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 it, everybody's mixed up nowadays. Everybody's with everybody. Go for what the hell you want, damn it. It's 2013. If people getting mad, fuck them. 
Fuck a minute. You and the people who did leave those comments in the comment section acting a goddamn ignorant fool. You know what? You're a jackass. You're just a jackass. If you got that much hate in your heart, sit your ass down somewhere in a corner, Indian style. Okay? Indian style in a corner. Just sit, my friend. Just sit, you jackass. Because you're just you're just ridiculous. Come up with the times. Catch up. Catch up, all right? Cause okay, we're way past you. We're way past you. But it's just ignorant. I just don't like it. Leave your thoughts how you feel about the Cheerios commercial. What do you think about these people leaving all these racial racial uh, uh, slurs? It's just sickening. It really is. Somebody might leave a bad a racial comment right here on my page. Just don't give a damn. Just listen to everything I say and then say, nigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm going to say? I ain't going to say that to them. I'm going to let them be ignorant. Let them be ignorant because people already say enough about me as is on this channel. But let's move on. Leave your thoughts, like I said. Leave your thoughts because I want to know how y'all really feel about this commercial because it's ridiculous. But let's talk about this brother down there in Tennessee. Now, this brother in Tennessee makes it hard on us, brothers. <laughs> makes it hard on us because it leaves that stereotype that black men don't take care of their kids and they don't do this, they don't do that, whatever. That's not true. That's what the media wants you to think. That's not true because they always find one brother out there who makes us look really, 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 really bad because there's a lot of brothers out there who take care of their kids, that take care of their kids seven days a week, 24 hours a day. That brother does not get no shine, but the brother who's going to get the shine is the brother with the 22 goddamn kids, ignorant as hell. 22 kids and 14 baby mamas, that's the brother they're going to put the spotlight on, and that's what to keep the stereotype going that, oh, black folks don't take care of their kids, black men don't take care of their kids. No, this nigga don't take care of his kids. This brother right here is uh, uh, just 10%, uh, 1%, <laughs> okay, of the great parents out there that are black men that take care of their children. This brother right here is just uh, um, just dumb. Just, just has no sense of anything. And with the interview, you can see that he just like it wasn't no big deal. It didn't seem like it was a problem to him. It just seemed like, oh, well, you know, hey, well, whatever, you know, type thing. And who are these 14 women that allowed this man to impregnate them? After he told you he had uh, 20 kids, what made you have his 20, 21st kid? Who made you have his 22nd kid? What did he say to you? What kind of smooth talking thing he could say? What did Mr. Orlando say to these women that made them take their clothes off? I, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But, you know, quiet is kept, okay? I like to say this right here. You know, a lot of women would rather have a man, any man, than no man at all. No matter if he has 22 kids, 14 baby mamas, they'll still take him because they would rather have any man than to be alone. It's better to be alone than go through some bullshit like that, okay? Come on, ladies. Have more self-respect for yourself. Now, this man said to the people that the reporter asked him, um, do you have any intention, any goal to, to take care of these kids? Well, you know, a dreamer can only dream or some shit, he said. I said, oh, man, I just wanted to jump up on this brother and just, and just, just wanted to just choke him, you know, when he said that. <laughs> and, then, and then he had the nerve to say, um, uh, uh, well, I play the hell out of Tennessee Lottery. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You play the hell out of Tennessee Lottery. And you know what? The nigga who did hit the lottery, I bet that nigga still want to take care of his goddamn kids. They had the nurse say, oh, women just love me. I bet they do. They bet they do because the women you deal with, this, hell, they don't, hell, they don't love themselves. That's for goddamn sure. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. 22 kids, 14 baby mamas. That brother was really just focused on one thing, and that was hitting that thing. Getting that cat. You go ahead, brother, but you fucked up your whole life. Just fucked up your life over some pussy. That's what my dad used to say. Think with your big head, son, not your little head. Think with your big head, son, not your little head. That brother would think with his little head. Look what they did with him. 22 kids at 33 years old. Brother, we got to think. We got to do better. Hey, and there's another thing I'm getting into. I just want to jump into this before I close this video. Men, if you're going to impregnate a woman, you can get these women pregnant and have these kids, okay? Stop and making women mothers if you have no intention of making them a wife that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it one more time stop making these women mothers if you have no damn intention on making them your damn wife stop going out there doing that shit self-control fellas self-control learn from this brother right here brother had no self-control no self-control anything he saw he hit anything he saw he hit now you got the goddamn government 
uh, uh, taking care of his kids on welfare and shit. God damn. Gotta do better. But don't let this brother think that he ain't all brothers is like this. That's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. That's a stereotype that's been going around a long time. No, just this nigga. <laughs> okay? Just this nigga. Now, I can say that. I can say that. All right, because it's ignorant. When I saw the story, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Twenty. I just can't get over it. 22 kids, 14 women. Man. And you know, but the sad thing, before I go, the sad thing about it is somebody will make him have his 23rd child and be his 15th baby mama. There's somebody out there that will do it. There is somebody out there that will do it, that will say to themselves, girl, I know he ain't got no job. I know he got 22 kids, but he good to me, though. Stupid, stupid think, ladies. Think, fellas. Everybody, think. Put your damn thinking caps on and keep them on, okay? Wrap that shit up. Wrap it up, fellas. Wrap it up, because you don't want to be like this damn crazy brother. Just out there slinging his dick around Tennessee for no goddamn reason. With no type of goddamn common sense. <sighs> That's my time. <laughs> That's my video. Hope you enjoyed. This is JR Experience. Many more videos to come. Shout out to my new subscribers. I know, hey, I ain't got a lot. And that's all good. I'm just glad, hey, whoever's watching, you're out there watching me, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. everybody who's watched my videos. Many more videos to come. If this is your first time watching the JR Experience, Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I much more that would really appreciate it. And uh, just get ready for the more videos. All right. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I will holla at you next week. Peace. I'm through.